So my talk uh, is about energy measurement uh, of Android Things on Raspberry Pi with, I don't know, a complicated title for a complicated subject. Uh, to resume, it is energy measurement of IoT by IoT, a sort of inception. The, the goal of this it's, uh, talk is to explain you the energy on IoT. Uh, I'm Olivier Filippo and I am the CTO of Green Spector. Green Spector is a startup, a French startup, as you can hear with my accent. Uh, sorry. <laughs> uh, and we work on energy efficiency for software developers. We, we, we want to make the software more efficient, consume less. Uh, uh, it is a big problem because um, while you need to measure energy, uh, software is eating the world. We have a lot of that, and it needs energy. This morning on the keynote, uh, Amanda was saying that it was magical, but with IoT and with API, with uh, uh, IT, there is also black magic because energy, uh, and it, it, there is a lot of study about that. Uh, uh, transporting bits now use 50% uh, more energy than the world aviation. So we, we are a, a domain which consume a lot of energy. We do a lot of things, but we consume a lot of things uh, of energy. And uh, if we continue, uh, we will use twice as much. So IT will be a, a big continent <laughs> with a big consumption. So we have to to change some things and to take into account that. Uh, uh, and if you don't care about the Earth, uh, you, I think the user sees this problem because mobility is everywhere. So user can see the, the, the decreasing of autonomy. Uh, you can feel it when you plug your smartphone every evening uh, and more. And with IoT, it will be the same because hardware uh, is supposed to, to have autonomy of uh, several years, but it is not the, the, the truth. Uh, and I think if, as a user, on your home you have 100 of device and you must uh, change the battery every year, of year, every year of, or about 100 of uh, device, you, you will not be agree. <laughs> you will feel, feel uh, like a slave of the IT and not uh, the IT for the human. So, yes, uh, there, there is something to, to change. And other domains have changed, have such a problem, automotive. And before, there were, there were technical controls like RPM, kilometers, uh, and they changed to more efficient control. And with, with gallon per kilometer or liter uh, by kilometer, you can see if you accelerate you, uh, with your car, you see that you use a lot of energy. So you can change your, your, your way to, to, to drive. How we measure energy in IoT and IT in general? We have profiling tools, we have CPU, we have performance tools. So we don't measure efficiency. We have no tools and we don't use a tool to measure energy. So it's not so true because on your smartphone, you have a little icon with a battery. It is the first step to energy measurement. It is a percentage of battery, and you have a first measure. And oh, this measure is done. In Android, for example, you see an example of a Nexus 6 specification. There is electronic component, with, which is a, a coolant counter, which permit to have the energy. And every smartphone has such electronics. And since Android 5, you have an API and you can get the energy. So you can integrate this energy in your software on your test. That, that's the work of Green Spectre, for example. And in IoT, uh, uh, a classical architecture, energy is everywhere. So in the smartphone we can measure, but in hardware like uh, things, there is no no such counter. You can uh, you, you you can measure it in the gateway also, which will permit to to make the object 
discuss between us and to add a layer of intelligence, you will know, uh, will have no energy, no energy information. So the, the, the aim of the talk is to work on the gateway and to provide some clues to, to have energy. The use case is to send the weather information by text to, uh, to user. Really a simple test case, and we use Raspberry Pi, uh, which is an uh, awesome platform to do project. On the OS, a newcomer, which is uh, Android Things, and uh, uh, it's really great for this operating system. Uh, for the weather, we have a Piro Moroni, which is a weather station with a pressure information, uh, temperature, and you can do project with uh, uh, some dollars. Uh, it's really great. And we will use the Cisco Tropo API to send SMS. So it is a use case. Uh, Android Things, if you use to develop in Android, uh, you will be able to develop in Android Things because it is the same tool. See, it's Android Studio, it is the same layer. You have just one thing more, which is uh, uh, the, the Things support library. So in, uh, if you use to develop in Android, in one hour you can have a project uh, on IoT and Raspberry because uh, you have images available. So. How to measure, what we do for to measure energy? We use the Arduino uh, to manage energy. Simple. And to measure energy, it is really, things, really simple. Uh, uh, we use Chant. And it is the same architecture as in your smartphone. Chant, it is a little resistor when you pass, elect where, uh, uh, where current pass. And we cut the cable which powers the Raspberry. And uh, uh, with uh, the shant we you can buy on uh, Adafruit website, the same thing, the same site where you buy uh, Arduino. It is ten dollars. So the shant is really simple. After here the final infrastructure. So you have the the Raspberry, which is a uh, link to the Ethernet, uh, you have a power cable which is cut and which passed by the chant and uh, the Raspberry, the Arduino manage the measure and the measure is sent to the data, to the computer. So it is the inception. On Arduino it is really simple. You take the chain voltage, the current, and if you remember of a loom Ohm low, you can have the power. So we send the power to the computer. <coughs> On the Raspberry Pi Pi and uh, Android Things, it is the same thing. Really, if you use to develop Android, uh, you create a simple application, and in some lines, we send the the message and the information to the web service uh, with a f number. And we do that every second. So I, I, I don't pass. Uh, uh, I pass to the result, and the result is here. So in idle, you see, idle is when your Raspberry Pi with Android Studio uh, with um, Android Things don't do nothing. You have a constant power consumption. So okay. After when we send the SMS every one second. With uh, with some information, we have some peak. So here we can say we have nothing to say, and we must do projection. And for IoT, if you want autonomous, I sorry, autonomous IoT. Yes, uh, we take a battery, which is a 10,000 battery, milliampere hours, to understand smartphone are three and four thousand uh, ampere hours. Here, the reference is the idle. So the idle is uh, you leave the, the, the raspberry, do nothing. First finding is that the autonomy is 37 hours. So if we want a, a big autonomy, 
with the first finding is that with a Raspberry Pi and Android Things, uh, you have just uh, two days of autonomy. You will have to change the, the battery every two days or to charge. So Raspberry Pi is not, it, it's good for prototyping, but for real uh, use case with a big autonomy, it's not a good thing. You have to do some better electronics or you have to plug your, your Raspberry Pi to the grid. So it is the first thing to, to say. After, you see that when we run the Android application, you have a decrease of two hours, so okay. And we send the SMS every one second, you have 20 minutes. So Cisco API is not, consume not a lot of energy. <laughs> I, I think I, I will be able to come back to the DevNet too because if uh, it was bad, I think. <laughs> uh, so, Yes, uh, there is no energy. What we do is after we plug the, 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 the weather station, because before there was no weather station, and we, 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 we see the information of, uh, uh, of temperature, which is viewed on the alphanumeric display and sent to the SMS. So there is a decrease of eight hours. So we see that uh, it's a big decrease of autonomy. And for the moment, you can say and uh, ask, uh, is it is the hardware or the software fault? <laughs> because we would say, OK, software, no. <laughs> software is virtual. There is zero one, zero one, and it is hardware which consume. Um, I, I do a parenthesis about a uh, uh, use case we have. We measure the Android uh, Google system UI, which is the interface of uh, Google. You have the status bar when you go to the notification, the recent app, uh, also uh, all the, the, the icon. And we see the, it is the same thing. The reference is the, the energy when you uh, keep the smartphone on with the screen. Uh, so, 100 microampere hours by second. When you show the recent app, you have an increase of energy, and when you show I the status bar, the energy uh, uh, is multiplied by three. So it is a big energy consumption. It is the same thing than a video. So a video is a, a long during of uh, playing, but just one second for the status bar, but just for viewing some icons, so it's not a, a good thing. And why we have such a consumption? It is not the hardware, because the hardware is here. The hardware uh, consumes with the screen uh, 100 microampere hours, so it, it is the same here. And it is a software, because all the CPU, all the data, there is a, uh, a software which consumes. And to explain what happened in system UI, uh, y you have Android system with the software event, the hardware events, with management. On your software here, and on system UI, you, you listen all these events. So when the user touch the screen, uh, you open all the listener, you listen all the battery events, the, the Wi-Fi event, a lot of system, and all is put, oh sorry, all is put on the, the algorithm and we, 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 um, we put all on all the graphics. So there is a lot of redraw, a lot of redraw on the, the, the interface and that's why it explains the uh, high energy uh, consumption. The user don't see anything because you have eight, eight CPU core <laughs> on the smartphone but there is energy consumption. What we see is that here is it, it is the event. The events are not managed. We said we, we don't need to, to program with pooling, but we need to go to event programming. So we go to event programming everywhere, but there is a, a drawback, and it is a drawback. So events are like butterfly effect, and it is the same thing on, on uh, IoT. There will be a lot of events which will be sent to the data center, to other objects, and if we don't manage the event, we will have some drawback effect. 
And it's, it is the same thing for our use case. We, on the our Raspberry Pi, with uh, the rainbow at uh, weather station, uh, the, the, the temperature is uh, sent every millisecond. So every millisecond, we said to the display to, to change. And we said also to the SMS to be sent. So there is a lot of event. What we do, we just put a loop a counter and we manage one event every 20 events. So 19 events were not managed, not sent to the alphanumeric display, not sent to the, to the network, and we increase the autonomy by 40 minutes. So it is a first, uh, first evolution, a, a first improvement, but we can go uh, further on the optimization. It shows that the, the hardware, yes, is not really important. It is not um, consuming. So after, you, you can continue to say, no, <laughs> it is the hardware. <laughs> uh, and uh, you go to premature opt optimization because a lot of developers said, OK, I don't want to optimize. We <laughs> and we, uh, it is a definition of uh, Donald Nuts uh, on the 17th. Uh, and uh, so we, all the developer have on the brain, <laughs> premature optimization is the root of all evil. So, uh, okay, but uh, it was 40 years ago, and now we are not the same hardware, we, are, we have not the same layer of software, we have a, a lot of layer, uh, so there is no premature optimization, and we saw that on all uh, software uh, project we have. When you begin to optimize, you, y y you have gain. You can reduce energy consumption. You can uh, uh, avoid obsolescence of hardware. You can put more features on your software. So it is really important. And the event, uh, uh, with the event, we see that. So as a conclusion, so IoT energy consumption will bloat. I, I, I think that we hardware manufacturer will I improve the hardware. It is the same thing on the computer, but software is going faster, uh, slower. So software is really not following the improvement of, of, of hardware. And it is not code, it is event, it is data data we send, data we manage, so we, we need to, to, to think about that. Uh, and uh, what we, we try to, to push also is the measure, the energy measurement, not only the performance, but the, but the energy. Because if I ask on the room who measure energy on this software or hardware, I think nobody. And, uh, so, so we need to measure because if we don't measure energy, the user will be will consume a lot of energy. And efficient IoT is good for the Earth because energy reduction, but also for the user because you will be uh, you will have a, a better experience by not plugging your your IoT to charge it or to change the battery. Uh, so it will be a, a great thing. So you can follow me or keep in touch with uh, the website. Thank you.